Create a fundraising presentation deck to share your story with investors. Questions that would be answered. What is a fundraising presentation deck? How can a presentation deck help my business? What goes into a good presentation deck? Connect with me via WhatsApp, plus 234-703-247-4726, to get more interesting videos. Please, to support our ministry, remember to like the video, and also find it in your heart to subscribe to our YouTube channel and then, gently tap the bell to turn on the notification, so as not to miss out on the next videos. Imagine Bibiana runs a small online shop, where she sells bike baskets that can be easily removed without tools, and used as shopping baskets at the grocery store. Bibiana has perfected her product, and has sold quite a few baskets, and she's assembled a talented team who can help her build even better ones. She has big dreams, though, of getting her baskets on not just a few bikes, but millions of them. Bibiana knows that to achieve her dream of being the Baroness of Baskets, she needs to book some meetings with investors. What could Bibiana share at those meetings, to convince them to invest in her bike basket business? Let's decide. When fundraising for your business, a presentation deck, aka, a series of slides you present to potential investors, is a key part of how you tell your story. Not only does the deck serve as a foundation for your meetings with potential investors, it's also usually the first thing they ask for over email. A strong deck can help you feel confident and start you off on the right foot. A deck can also help you organize your thoughts and let you make sure you have all the information you need to answer any questions potential investors might have about your business. Say, Bibiana doesn't want to share her ideas because she's afraid someone might see her presentation and steal her best and brightest bike basket ideas. Sharing your idea is better than keeping it all to yourself. It lets you get feedback and advice and can help you build buzz around your idea, too. So, you usually don't have to worry about having a non-disclosure agreement, NDA. If your business is so fragile that someone could steal what makes it so special, just by reading your deck, then you might want to think about how you'll protect your trade secrets over the long term, and if that's sustainable. By evaluating the quality of your deck, investors are also evaluating the quality of your business idea. So, keep your deck clean, short, and memorable. Make sure your polished deck contains a solid storyline, strong visual appeal, and absolutely no errors. Aim for 12 to 15 minutes in length. Keeping it short invites the investors to ask questions, which you should have answers to. Most investors will spend under 15 to 30 seconds looking at your deck, if you email it to them. Your deck needs to be memorable, and able to convince an investor looking at hundreds of pitches a month, that your ideas are worth their time. Listen up. When creating your deck, organization is key. Make sure your deck includes an introduction, biographies of your team, an explanation of the problem you are addressing, a solution to that problem, financing information, and a conclusion. First, set the stage for your presentation by starting your deck with an introduction. This is typically where you'll put your company's name and logo. You might also include the name of the investor you're meeting with to show you're interested in approaching this business venture as a partnership. You'll also want to include an agenda, outlining the different sections of your deck. This will help the investor know when to ask questions, and if a question they have is going to get answered. It also shows you've rehearsed the deck. Next, share biographies of your team and anyone involved in the business. Include information about your founders and their stories, including work history, interesting projects, why they're experts in their field, and any other interesting pieces of background you want your audience to know. Try to answer the questions. What makes this team uniquely qualified to solve this problem? And, why is this the best team in the world? Once you've introduced your team, you'll want to share the problem you are aiming to solve with your product or service. 
Know your customer's pain point, aka the core need you are looking to satisfy with your product or service. How many customers have this same problem or pain point? Here is where you can wow your investors with your research, answering not just how many customers have this pain point, but also how much those customers are willing to pay to alleviate that pain. Then, present the solution to this problem, specifically what makes your company's solution different from any competitors. In a perfect world, here's where you'd put metrics about how many customers have given you business, or other metrics that are important to investors in your business sector. If you haven't launched yet, though, you probably don't have that information available. That's okay. It just means you'll spend more time talking about what your product is, rather than metrics that don't exist yet. Next comes the financing part. Investors want to see that you're responsible with money, and use it efficiently, and this is where you can show that to them. List out all your existing capital, who you've raised it from, and what you've done with it, as well as how much you have in the bank currently. Then, tell investors what you'll do with any money you receive from them, and how that money will allow you to grow your business, for instance by increasing your production or marketing spend. You should also share your burn rate, how fast you spend money and in what intervals, and valuation, how much you believe your company is worth. There are various free online tools you can use to calculate your business valuation. Once you've shared all this with investors, make sure to end your presentation deck with a conclusion. This can be as simple as a thank you with a photo of your company's employees. Ending on a team photo will leave investors with an impression of the real people who are going to be doing the hard work it takes to make your business a success rather than just faceless roles and names. Once you have everything in your deck, it's time to practice and prepare. Rehearse your deck in front of a mirror and take videos of yourself. Practice your body language and with each rehearsal, anticipate taking questions from investors and use your intuition to improve your deck. Do at least 25 rehearsals before giving your presentation, probably more. Make sure you have any cables you need to charge your laptop, and plug it into a monitor or projector. It's safe to assume that when presenting, you'll encounter every possible setup, and being ready for that will save you stress. Do this now. Now that you know why a presentation deck is important, and what should go into it, let's see what you have ready to go in your deck, and what still needs some work. Let's do it.